I don't know uh, what you have planned, but I think you're pretty good. You should probably consider doing media. I, I think you're pretty good <laughs> at it because you just mentioned Tom Brady and that's where <laughs> I want to go next. That's funny. You mentioned Tom <laughs> Brady and he will be 47. He will be 47 years old in August and he's still talking about playing football. He'll be 47. I said <laughs> and Tom Brady with the when the when the subject of playing again comes up when you're 47 46 going on 47 very soon. Most people say, oh, I had a great career, especially if you won seven Super Bowls, especially if you consider the goat. Hey, that was great. I'm going to the next chapter. You got a huge contract waiting for you at Fox. Uh, you're kicking Greg Olson out of that job. He's going to be demoted from number one to number two, kicking him out. You got part. You got a ownership deal with the Raiders on the table. NFL owners are allowing you to do that. So you got a little ownership with the Raiders. You got a big contract with Fox. You should say you're done with football, but this is what Tom Brady had to say when you when that subject came up. We get it. You're 100% retired. Yes. Let's say one day there's a situation, right? Maybe it's the 49ers, maybe you know, heading to the playoffs. Offense is great. Patriots, somebody, could be somebody, somebody Raiders look, could be you never know. God forbid somebody goes down. Would you pick up that phone? I'm not opposed to it. If they would, I don't know if they're going to let me if I become an owner in the NFL team, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know. I'm always going to be in good shape, always be able to throw the ball. So to come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back, um, I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Okay, I don't know what they tell you. <laughs> Look at you. You know, listen, I am the biggest Tom Brady what hater, is so this is what just is fuel. This is just fuel. What's that? What's that? What's all this? What's all this pushback? What is this? What's this look on your face? Set down, Tom. Like, sit down. We, what else? What else do you have to prove in this game? Like, you just mentioned all of his accolades. You also just mentioned all of the things that he's lined up for him right now in this moment. I think Greg Olson, by the way, is an incredible commentator. And it is going to be unfair. I like him. Yeah, it's going to be unfair to see him have to demote himself to the second string of the B team because of Tom Brady. And he's still, man, you have lost a relationship over football and you still want to play? This is like drugs at this point. The man needs help. Please <laughs> sit down, Tom. Sit down. But see, see, Tarika, first of all, uh, let's just go back to journalistically Vic Blinn. So that everything they told you about interviewing, hey, you know, you want to get somebody to open up? No, Vic Blinn just threw it out there. It wasn't a, like it wasn't a perfectly phrased question. It wasn't a trick question. You know, Blinn's is there. You know, Brady's sitting there in the chair. Blinn's is like, hey, you know, uh, let's say somebody calls you. Brady's like, I'm so glad you asked. I'm so glad you asked. Matter of fact, <laughs> he may have. He may have fed my guy Vic blends that question. Now listen, before I tell you to take some off the sides, I need you to ask me about <laughs> football coming back. I want to put this out there. It will make your trust me. It will make your podcast your deep cuts podcast, but I you know, I disagree with you though. I disagree with you. I don't think Tom Brady should sit down. Look, there are certain things people are like, you know, I think being well rounded in a lot of ways is overrated being well rounded and being interested in a lot of things. I'm telling you what I'm not well rounded. I'm not interested in a lot of things. I'm going to be one of those guys Tarika. I'm going to be 99 years old. Like several networks will have moved on from me. They would have said, okay, stop. Stop. You don't make sense. They say that now you don't make sense. Uh, we, it, it's, it's time for a new generation to come in. You've had a great career. Can you do something? I'm like, no, no. Give me a mic. Where's my mic? Where's the red light? I will not like you're gonna have to drag me away from this thing because I love it. I, I've always wanted to do it. I love doing it. So if you're Tom Brady right now, where, where, where would you rank him? Okay, you ranking your top 10, 12 quarterbacks. Wouldn't you rank him right now as one of your top 12 quarterbacks in football? 
Okay, if we're being unbiased, Tarika, unbiased Tarika would absolutely yeah. happen in the top 10, for sure. I mean, skill-wise, yeah. level-wise, absolutely, he'd be in the top 10. But what I, everything that you just mentioned is precisely why he needs to sit down. It's a new generation of football. There are new up-and-coming stars, stars who were in the game while he was playing and have now gone on to take the number one st spot now that he's not. Tom Brady has nothing left to prove. And we want to talk about legacies. Let's talk about how you can destroy a legacy. Being in a position way too long, doing something far past your time can help to bring down your legacy as quickly as it was there to be built. And so I would much rather Tom Brady continue to go out on top. You know what I loved about Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning went out on top, besides the fact that he's obviously my favorite quarterback ever. But, but he, he went to decline, out. He went, but he went out on top, even though he was starting to decline. He? Yeah, he did. He retired the year after he won a Super Bowl in I mean, Denver. I know I'm saying what a champ. Hardest thing he you could have done. He went out as a champion. He went out he as went a champion. Out, he went out on that is on top. What else can be considered on what? top? You went what? out what? a Super Bowl champion. People, the lasting memory that people have in their head about you is that you took two franchises to a Super Bowl and won them, which is the same thing that they could say about Tom Brady. If he sit his ass down, do not continue <laughs> to come back. Like, do not continue <laughs> to try to push a narrative. You have nothing left to prove. If you still want to be effective in this game, you're already doing it in a multitude of ways. Ownership, being a part of the broadcast team, being a coach for that matter, whatever. But bruh, stop it. Do not put on a uniform anymore. <laughs> well, listen, Peyton Manning, I remember this. Yeah, I do remember him winning the championship uh, over the, over the uh, Carolina Panthers in the Super Bowl. Yep. Great. But in that season, just mysteriously, and they, they handled it well. He pretty much was benched for a couple of games in favor of Brock Osweiler. And I remember him throwing more interceptions than touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken. He had a great cha a AFC championship game, beat Tom Brady and the Patriots. He was great. A couple of early touchdown passes. But it wasn't the same Peyton Manning in, in 2015. He, he kind of lost something. Tom Brady, the last time we saw him, in his three years with Tampa, they win a, they win a championship. They, um, they get to the divisional round in another one. And then they lose a playoff game at the crib uh, to the Cowboys. But he's still, you look at the yards, look at the touchdowns, look at the interceptions. And Tarika, this is why I'm on Tom Brady's side here. Uh, let alone the fact that the house you see behind me, Tom Brady built it for me. Thank you. Clearly. I appreciate, clearly. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Uh, beyond that, my biases aside, he didn't, I feel for a guy who didn't want to stop. You're right. The relationship ended because he wouldn't step away from football. But then the flip side is he didn't want to step away from football. He didn't want to stop playing. I, I feel like you do what you do until you can't do it anymore. And I'm not going to get into his personal life and what he should have done and like, how could you keep playing? All I'm saying is it's clear to me Tom Brady retired, but he didn't want to retire. He retired twice. He didn't want to do it the first time. Clearly didn't want to do it the second time. And if I'm uh, doing an early version of my bet to your money, I got November. I got Thanksgiving. I think well, you'll see Tom Brady back. I I I will say this, and then I I because I've said the same thing about LeBron James, and one thing that I love that he has said is when I feel like I'm cheating the game, when I feel like I have nothing left to give the game, is when I feel like I'm going to step away, and I don't think it is the sheer ability to play football that should keep you around, but it's the ability to play football at the level that you have become accustomed to and become synonymous with playing. And I think that is a difference with what we talk about when we talk about the great still being able to play. This man has played football the entirety of his life. I'm quite sure at 50 years old, he can still play. I mean, we heard the same things with T.O. Yeah, T.O., you were a great wide receiver. I'm pretty sure you could still play. 
but at the level and at the caliber, I mean, and if we're keeping it a spade a spade, Tampa Bay didn't look like they missed them that much. I mean, as it relates Ooh. to being able to consider uh, Tampa Bay Ooh. being able to make the playoffs with Baker Mayfield. One I division. Mean, won a won playoff division, game. Won a playoff game. Quite literally, Tampa is fine. And that in itself starts to lead to questions um, because do you need the safety net of Tom Brady or was Tom Brady utilizing a safety net with the Tampa Bay with Tampa Ooh. Bay based off their defense, based off some of their line? And again, this is me just playing devil's advocate because I can. But at the same time, I think the point is, can Tom Brady play? I think absolutely he could still play football. But is he still going to be the Tom Brady that we all remember him being? I'm not so sure. And even if an inkling of anyone questions that, that means you should sit down. Mm. Well, he, he once famously said, I'll retire when I suck. Now, he said that a long time ago. <laughs> and he never did. He never did. He, I think he said that about 10 years ago. I'll retire when yeah. I suck. He never really got to the point of sucking. He never really sucked. <laughs> and so if that's your standard, that's a way to keep the gig going, isn't it? Well, you know, uh, when will I retire when I suck? I know I never will. So he wants to be ageless. He wants to play forever. And you imagine you mentioned Greg Olson. I think he's good too. You imagine Greg yes. Olson saying, damn, I'm in, I, I'm not trying to come back. I'm not trying to go back to football. I'm not trying to play tight end anymore. I'm invested in this position. I'm trying yeah. to be the best analyst I can. And the guy who replaced me not only still wants to play football. He wants to own a team. I just want to be a broadcaster for Fox and I still get demoted. Damn. As crazy. Can I get a break? Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.